Hey guys, it's Gen Z. I'm back with a new video all about my favorite lip colors, lip stains, lipsticks, lip everything. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. So whenever I shoot a video when I post it, the top question I always get is about what color of lipstick I'm wearing. So I've decided to do a video dedicated to all my favorite lip colors and we're going to go them go over them today. And we're going to get into my favorite NYX product for NYX. Is it NYX or NYX? I don't know. I call it NYX. The NYX lip color Milan. I love, love, love. I wear this to work or I wear this at night. It's one of those great colors that can be used at any time. And it's not too dressy, but it's not too, you know, low key either. So it's a, it's a wonderful combination of both. Very kind of disappointing with the packaging. My apartment can get quite hot sometimes, and even with the cap on, it's starting to sweat a little and melt, which really, really pisses me off. I'm a little bit upset about that, but otherwise, I really love this lip color. I'm going to show you actually what it's doing right now. It's literally melting. How bad is that? It's melting, but whatever. I'm still going to buy it again. Next one I'm going to talk about is called Pumpkin Pie. I really do love this color. I don't wear it as often as I should. I haven't really mastered it yet. I don't really wear it that often. But I do really like it occasionally, you know, random moments in time. You guys can let me know. But I really love the color. And yeah, NYX, NYX, whatever it's called, has great, great, um, great, great, great colors to choose from. A variety of them. So I'm going to continue to buy them. And they're actually quite affordable. I think I only paid $2.99 for them a lot. Which is cheap. Super cheap. The next one I'm going to talk about is called Rhea. And sometimes what I like to do is mix and match the two. Not really comfortable wearing it, but when I mix it with the Milan, I really like the combination of the two. So that's what I like to do most of the time. I buy them online. You can buy them pretty much anywhere. And I'll do my best to link all of the products I talk about below so that you guys can find them very easily. Okay, I have another NYX product I did not show you. And this one is called Femme. And it's like a bright fire orange red. And I think this is very close to Lady Danger, but I'm not sure because I don't own it. So when I do, I'm going to compare them. But this is the color right here. It's really pretty. It's like a bright orangey pinky color. I don't wear this often. I've probably worn this like twice. So this is the Mary Kay color. And this one is called Red Passion. And I got this, I think, as a sample. Um, it's a type of gift bag or something like that. But this is a really pretty red. And I usually don't wear red a lot. But when I do, I really like this one because it kind of sparkles. It has like a little bit of sparkles to it. Or I wear it, you know, when I'm going to an event or maybe a special birthday party or something like that. I would never really wear this to work or anything kind of like low key. But anything kind of dressy, I would definitely wear this color. Alright, so next I'm going to show you some of my darker colors. I didn't know what to get, but I ended up going to MAC and I found the Young Rapunzel color. I would never normally wear this color, but this fall, or last fall, I was going through this whole like, oh, I want to do this dark lampy thing for a friend's wedding, and I decided to try it out, and it was bomb. Like, I really love this color. It looks great. I had a very bright golden dress on and so to do the dark makeup just was perfect perfect in my eyes for it. I got a lot of compliments on my makeup that night especially my lip color so I really love this color. Discontinued now which pretty sucks but I would definitely run to the store and get this wet and wild color if you want to try a dark vampy look. It's 919B from Wet n Wild and it's $1.99. Can't beat that right? Next we're going to talk about my favorite red blonde lipstick. Do you know what really sucks? I always just a top to everything really bad but okay so this color right here is called mauve it over and I really like it I got it on sale at I think CVS or one of those stores when they were having some big sale but this color I really like it's like peachy type brown I can't really describe it pink pouts I wore this when I went to Europe it's perfect perfect color it's great it's almost like a cotton candy pink I go back and forth between cotton candy pinks and really bright hot pinks I like both I really want to try um what is that color by MAC that everyone talks about? Yum Yum, Candy Yum Yum? I want to try that one. I think I'm going to get Candy Yum Yum and Lady Danger for my birthday. If you think those would look good on me, let me know. Or if you have any other suggestions. But those are the two that I really want to get. I have another Revlon. This one's called um, Cherries and Snow by Revlon. And it's a red. And I've worn this before. I love this color. It's a really bright red, a rich red. I wore this in a video, um, my makeup haul video, which I will link for you to see. But I really love this color. It's great. It's really great for nighttime special events, going out with friends, things like that. 
So let's get into lip stains. Lip stains is actually the most popular lip color that I wear all the time. And that's because it really stains your lips. It doesn't look like you're wearing lipstick, it just looks like you have some color on. I love, 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 but what I hate is when you try to take it off, that's a whole other issue. Stains your lips for the entire day and that sucker does not come off. I can eat, I can drink, I can do whatever, and it just stays. I love it, love it, love it. I can just go beyond the move and my lip stain will stay on. I don't have to worry about it. When I'm wearing a lipstick, it can smudge, it can rub, it can get on. If you have a boyfriend, they hate lipstick because it gets on their shirt, you just can't stand it. Lip stains are a much better option because you can pretty much do everything without it getting on anyone. So I prefer it, but obviously lip colors are some of my favorite things to wear as well. I mean lipsticks. So I kind of alternate between the two. But most of the time when I'm going to work and something like that, I will do it, definitely wear a lip stain. This one here is by um, CoverGirl, and I actually cannot remember the name of it, but it's 556. Don't worry, I will link it below so you can see what it's called. But I really love this lip, color, this lip stain. Um, I've had it for a while. What you should know about lip stains is that in order to wear a lip stain, your, your lips have to be 100% moisturized. They cannot be dry, they cannot be cracked, they cannot be nothing because it stains and literally you'll see it. Like, if you have dry lips, it will show up even more obvious if you're wearing this. And what I do is I usually use a brush, like a toothbrush, to kind of scrub off just to keep them, you know, exfoliated. And then I'll put on a lip balm or something like that over it before I go to bed and when I wake up my lips are like nice and moisturized. The next one that I really like is from Sephora. Again, I don't know the name. This one's 04. I don't know why they don't put the names on the bottom because they do have names. I just don't remember. Now, it does retail for quite pricey, I think, for a drugstore brand. It's between like $11 and $13, which I was kind of shocked. I thought it would be more like the $5.99 range and things like that. But nonetheless, it's a really great lip color. If you catch them on a the sale, it's usually buy one, get one half off. So I'll buy two. I've done that in the past. It does last you a while. You're only going to use like, whoosh, whoosh, like one swatch of it and you're good to go. These are really great colors, really great. They're quite similar. This one's a little bit more bold or purple and this one's a little bit more pink, but I like the both of them. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video all about my favorite lipsticks, lip colors, and lip stains. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions regarding any of the products I talked about today. Most importantly, make sure you subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!